Today, we're gonna do a food challenge. We're only going to eat food that our drivers recommend to us or give us tips how to find. Wish me luck, guys. Any places you like to eat? Uh, you should try some Jamaican food, some Ooh. Asian food. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Let's see it, boo. Steak empanada. Can you take a bite for us? Mm. Very good. Cheesy? Yeah. It's like brisket. It just like falls apart. Mm. So far, our Uber driver, Yvonne, she recommended the Cuban bakery and We'd have to say she's pretty smart. This is one dollar. We're so excited to head to the Yellow Green Market, following our driver's rules. When we found Mr. Bill's barbecue, not only did we find a long line, but we found Jamaican food. Two rules followed. When we finally made it to the front of the line, we could easily see it was worth the wait. Not only was this brisket such good quality, super moist, but we really appreciate it didn't have sauces all over it. You could choose sauces to bring with you. of the challenge went out the window when Andy saw a New York style pizza. He had to try it. He comes here every week. Trigger does. We're gonna slice of pizza. He's so cute. Trigger. 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 Very good. Not too saucy, not too cheesy, not greasy. The undercarriage is nice, perfect, nice and crispy. So floppy though. Clearly a New York style pizza expert. This driver recommended the Taco Beach Shack and oh my goodness did she do a good job on that one. She told us it was a great price, which it totally was, and the food was crazy phenomenal, especially Andy's brisket nachos. And look how adorable the place was. On top of that, there was a DJ playing music and we hear that there's often live music there. Check out the party space in the back. Love everything about this place. These nachos were so good. I got the brisket nachos. Definitely 10 out of 10. So much flavor in my tacos. Have you noticed that we've been playing different music that goes along with the food we're eating? That is thanks to Epidemic Sound. Getting sound on our videos that wasn't copyrighted used to take us forever and be a major headache. But because of Epidemic Sound, we can play around with sounds, have multiple music and sounds on each video, and it's tons of fun. We will add our referral link in the comments for you, and I believe it gives both you and us a little deal. I'm a little shy for this, but I think I'm going to try asking people what they think of their food so we can get more opinions on food here in Hollywood. Wish me luck, guys.
This is Tanya right here from Hollywood. Tanya, how is your food? Really good. Yeah? What's in it? This is a, a cappuccino coffee ice cream and pumpkin waffle. Is that the kind you always get? No, this is my first time trying this one. Shut up! Now what would you rate it, no pressure, what would you rate it out of 10? 10 out of 10. Shut up! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I did it! I did it! Inspired by Beck from Amen and Beck. Thanks Beck, I'm getting out of my comfort zone too. You could call us A plus students of these drivers. It was so tempting to eat at this place. They had breakfast all day, but no one was there at all. So maybe earlier in the day they get more crowd and it would be driver approved. So we kept walking till we found a place that was busy. Not only do we love Latin music and dancing, but we love Latin food. This place was packed, so we had to check it out. Not to be a Debbie Downer, but this food was basically mounds of cheese on top of marinara sauce. Dude, it was gross. It reminded me of school food. We never had Peruvian food before, but they had a lot of people there and it smelled delicious. She just brought something to the table and I don't know what it is yet. It's like our app. It's like nuts. It's like roasted cashews. And it doesn't smell like cashews. Oh, it's like fried peanuts. Corn. Oh, is it corn? Corn. Fried corn. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's different. I'm not that into it, but... It's just salt. Full disclosure, I'm hungry. <laughs> Corn with a tiny bit of salt and a dry middle. I ordered this solterito and Andy ordered veggie fried rice. First of all, this smells so good. My solterito had lots of cilantro and vinegar and corn. It was so yummy. My veggie fried rice had all sorts of veggies in it. So our drivers did pretty good. We would definitely do this again. What do you think? Would you try this out? Only eat what your driver says? We want to give a shout out to Proggy Boy Productions. He does food tours all the time that make us so hungry. If you love looking and learning about food, you've got to check out his channel too. And we'd love for you to subscribe to him and us if you haven't yet. Like and say hey in the comments.